And that's right. I've just been screwed by Chuck Hong. Chuck Hong is the CEO and founder of Netlist. Uh, he's the chairman of the board because they don't have a board of directors. They're a non-listed stock. So if you don't know who Netlist is, count yourself lucky. There's some of us who have gotten involved in his antics about suing Google in hopes that we'll get a huge settlement. But that's not really how he screwed me this week. Uh, what he basically did was he went out and said, look, I'm going to manufacture 11 million shares and I'm going to sell them to the public for, let's see, what is it? $2.70 a share. Well, that took the price of Netless down today about 20% to bring it in line with his $2.70 share price. Well, where is he going to get those shares? He only owns 5.8 million, but he's going to give over 11 million out at $2.70. And then if you'll buy them, he's also then going to issue you a warrant that you can buy another share for each one of the shares you buy for $3.20 anytime over the next five years. So in essence, what he's going to do is manufacture not 11 million shares, but 20 22 million shares in dilute you and I's holdings. Uh, this is all about a company that has some patents that apparently some people have violated and the courts have said they have and he was he was granted some 30 million dollar or 300 million dollar judgment against Samsung but if you'll listen to his earnings call and I greatly encourage you to listen to his earnings call it's the most pathetic earnings call you will ever hear it's it involves he and his CEFO who may who is uh the Gale, and Gale gives less than a minute summary of the last quarter's performance. And I understand why, because she should be ashamed of what they did over the last quarter. Their earnings are down 42%. That means they lost $52 million, whereas the prior quarter, they only lost $33 million. Their revenues are down 70%. That means that their revenues went from $161 million down to $71 million. They've basically closed the doors. They are basically sitting around waiting for the hopefulness of a lawsuit that goes, they've got two more against Samsung, one against Microsoft and an enormous lawsuit against Google. This company is underwater and they're just trying to stay afloat long enough to get through the court proceedings and they just raised $30 million to get that done. If you don't believe me, I want to take you to my computer, take you to my Seeking Alpha, and I want to show you the shenanigans that are going on there and how these people are basically feeding off the general public who hope that there will be a major settlement against Google and the price of this stock, like I thought, might go up tenfold, twentyfold, a hundredfold once this court is settled. But these people, these people are are not even really in the business. I want you also to listen to the the, the uh, earnings call. Let's go to my computer. Let me show you the facts. Let me show you the numbers, and then you make the decision. And I hope you can say, boy, I'm glad I didn't own any of that net list stock because Kerry got screwed. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. page on Seeking Alpha. I would encourage you, if you're a serious investor, to subscribe to Seeking Alpha. There's a link in the description uh, where you can do that. Uh, as you can see, it's down 20% this uh, today, down 65 cents to $2.53. As I said, it is a pink sheet stock over the counter. Uh, you won't find it on the New York Stock Exchange. You can see one year it's down 17%. Um, one month, it's down 26.7. Uh, and and there, there's a beautiful picture of the chart today, uh, down to, as I say, to 253. What I want you to do is, is the first thing, or where I want to take you, is the financials. I want you to see the pathetic nature of this stock. Here they have their 
uh, their earnings. And you can see they, in January of 2022, they reported earnings of 142 million. Uh, December of 2022, 161, that's up. But year over year, now they're down uh, to, to 75 million. As you can see, as I told you, their, their income uh, has has gone from a positive in 20, January of 2022 of 4.8 million. Then the following year, they basically shut the doors and they lost 33 million. And then this year, they lost another 52 million dollars. They, they, they've just basically said, ah, we're going to be, we're going to go after Google and uh, Samsung and let everything else happen. Then I want you want to take you to the balance sheet. Uh, and over here, I want you to see this is total shares uh, out for filing from on filing date. And as you can see, since going back to 2014, they had 41 uh, million shares. And you can see they started as they move forward, just building it to where they had by uh, 2018 in four years, they had increased their share count by roughly 100 million. Uh, and now th that that would be one, 140. You can see they're now up to 240 million. They added another 100 million. Now what they're going to do is add another 11 million and then print another 11 million for the warrants. So you can see where they're getting their financing. They're just diluting their share count so that you and I, the shareholders, sit back uh, and focus on the lawsuits and don't recognize that they're just taking the money, printing the shares, selling them, as I said, 11 million of them for, uh, for $2.70 a, sh a share, which works out to be right at $30 million, and then says, if you'll stick with us, and they say they'll have this done in three days. It, we will print another 11 million and sell them to you for $3.20 up to five years. So as a result of that, Chuck, I guess, is the recipient of the funds from these shares because, or the company is because they've manufactured them. Uh, it's going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of seventy million dollars that are going is going to be flowing in, and they're not selling any product. They don't have to, because they're now betting on that we we have we have brought the public in for the on this dream it's a Las Vegas dream we've brought them in on this dream and now we're going to uh, make an effort to continue to pursue Google Samsung and um, Micron now I want to take you back to the summary page and I want you please go to this little thing that looks like a a squiggly line over over three uh, straight lines and this is their earnings call now i want you to know that most earning calls run in the neighborhood of a minute okay this earning call runs 26 minutes you're going to see that you're going to hear chuck um or mike i don't know who mike is mike is uh the investor relations with the Pluckett Group, and he gives a little bit of an uh, overview or a um, disclaimer that none of this <laughs> we can be held liable for. Then they go into a conversation from Chuck, and Chuck goes and basically teaches you what's happening in the memory bank or the memory system of the computer networks. Doesn't speak at one iota as to the performance of uh, of Netlist stock over the last quarter. And you see, he talks for quite some period of time, and then he turns it over to Gail. Gail is the C E uh, C. F O, and she tells you about the performance of the stock over the last quarter. Look how long Gail's conversation takes. She and look in there. She doesn't tell you that they've lost 42 percent in earnings and 70 percent in revenue. No, there is no mention of it whatsoever. Then we go into the questions. Well, this is when all the analysts come in and ask questions and pin them down onto what exactly is going to happen. Well, this. This dude, uh, Sushi, comes in, and the first thing he talks about is the lawsuit. And there is no one else, 
they have one staged guy, they don't even tell you where Sushi's from, who goes through and asks uh, Chuck and Gail some questions. He, he tries to nail Gail down on earnings. And look, Gail, Gail gives him a two-sentence answer, and that she's gone. This is the most ludicrous uh, earnings call, I have, and I implore you, if you own any stock, uh, you must, you must get to know the CEO and the CFO and find out if these people are legitimate. And if you'll spend 26 minutes and 35 seconds with Gail and Chuck, you'll understand Kerry just got screwed. And now, what is Kerry going to do? Well, Kerry will probably explain that to his tribe on the Friday stock call this Friday. Or he's going to give an alert to his tribe if and when he's going to sell his Netflix stock. No, excuse me, I did that again. It's Netlist. I wish it was Netflix stock.